Ladies and gentlemen, are you excited? Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Last night of the day, you guys, you walked around all Saturday. How are your legs feeling? Anyone count their steps? Anyone have a step counter? Just yell at how many steps you got, man. Uh, let's see, 6,679. That's a lot of steps. Let's hear it for Mr. Steps here. All right, so this is a Q&A, and you guys get to ask questions. My friend there, Kevin, in the blue shirt, he's going to walk around with his wireless microphone. You can ask questions. Don't got to keep your hand up the whole time. You can just kind of make some eye contact with him, just wave him down. He'll add you to his mental cue, so that's going to be pretty easy for you guys. So uh, do you guys like mutants? Yeah? Man. Do you like Deadpool? <laughs> good. Good. Okay. okay. Oh, there's multiple Deadpools. We might need to see you guys at the after party tonight for a dance-off. I think that's what we're going to need to see. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. Round of applause for the Deadpools, everybody. Thank you, teachers, for wonderful people. Okay, cool. So, all right. So, what I need you to do is if you love Deadpool, I need you to yell chimichangas like you've never done it before on the count of three. One, two, three. All right, and if you love Colossus, I need you to just become metal. Go. Nope, none of you are metal. All right, well, we're not going to take any more time. I'm going to welcome to the stage your moderator, Josh, from Project Nerd, everybody. Give him a warm round of applause. Thank you, guys. All right, so show of hands, who has seen either of the Deadpool movies? Everyone's over 17. Good, we don't have to call the M. Okay, good, good. <laughs> All right, well, if you guys can please give me a huge round of applause for Stephen... Stephen Kapasik. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry. Thank you, thank you. Oh, my goodness. Thank you for giving me a new name. I tried my oh. hardest. Uh, well, yeah. You doing okay? Colossus yeah, is going to break our a, chair here? Yeah, it's a small chair, but thank you all for coming. Thank you, guys. Uh, yeah. I so, have a new last name now, so you know, let's see. And I see a lot of Deadpools, so it's fun. So I know none of you guys probably want to hear me talk anymore, butcher any other names. So why don't we just start it off with some questioning? And, and I think Deadpool, Deadpool has right a question. Here. We got a microphone. Awesome. What am I doing with like two microphones? It's well, for stereo so effects. Bob, Bob. Okay. Yeah. I'll go with this one. <laughs> go with that one? Okay. Like a politician. So, do you like working for Deadpool, aka me? Sorry? <laughs> do, you, do you like working with Deadpool? Absolutely. Me. You. Me. You. 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 Yes. <laughs> that was a good question. Of course. Thank you, Deadpool, for Thank that. Thank you, Diane. All right, any other questions? Got one right there in the back. Uh, Spider-Man. Yeah. Are you looking forward to future movies? Sorry? Like, are you excited about like, future movies? Of course movies I am. I'm, I'm excited because the next one is going to be X-Force. Then, well, it's not a spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's a spoiler? OK. Uh, and I'm really happy because, in a way, we are like joining the Marvel Universe. We're going back home. So, you know... It, oh? It feels good. It feels so good, man. It my Finally, because, you know, we were like separated. We're going to see more mutants in that house? Yes. Or? And, you know, unfortunately, Infinity War is already filmed and everything else. But it would be cool to see X-Men and <laughs> Silver Surfer and Fantastic Four. Yes. Come on, fantastic. Yeah, come on, guys. No, nobody. Yeah, yeah. But I would love to see Silver Surfer. We keep buying tickets for those yeah. movies. Um, I hope so. And the Fantastic Four. And the thing. Well, he is the Fantastic Four. Yeah. I would just hold my mouth Thank you, Deadpool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> testing. All right. Yeah. Um, so, with the last Deadpool movie, they made a big joke about how um, they didn't really have the budget or the funding to have all the other X-Men in the house, and they had the joke where you see them in the room as you pass by. 
Um, do you think with like exports and stuff like that, you're going to see Disney accepting mixing Deadpool with some of the other cinematic universe, or do you think they're going to still try and keep it a little separated? I think we need, there's like some legal thing. I'm not like really good with that, but okay. you know, there's like two or three years until that becomes official. So. Mm -hmm. For the next two years or so, you're going to see the same kind of thing. You know, Fox getting as much money as they can before they leave it to the Disney. Oh, okay. So I don't think that X-Force, it's going to be like still in like the Deadpool universe in that way. Deadpool Absolutely. genre. Absolutely. But I would love to see that, you know, just a little it, bit of maybe nice Spider-Man. It'd be nice to see Disney embrace some of the more rated R materials that Deadpool and that universe puts out. Absolutely. I'm hope well, you know, I think that there's like a bright future, an amazing future with all these guys coming together. So me as a geek, as a fan, you know, for me that's like I don't really need to be into that. I just want to see that. I want to watch that. And who you knows, maybe go against Thanos in the future or Galactus or just to, just to go. Without snapping, huh? Oh, I love them. Come on. They're awesome. Or the X-Force. I never liked the comic book, though, but the movies are brilliant. Well, I generally didn't love the Iron Man comic book. I have to admit that, but I love the movies. And there was like, yeah, vice versa things, but yeah, okay. One more over here. Yeah, the Black Panther. Yeah. I think it's a really good thing that Logan and Deadpool came out when they did before the deal came through because it shows just how viable they are when you actually take more risk with the property. I was actually kind of wondering, I was very curious how exactly did you kind of run into, into the, when, when did, how did you actually get the role and how was that, was it just like a regular casting call or did you like really just try to go for it or anything well, like that? You know, wow, that's a good question. The thing is, it was, it was a regular call. I was, I was in Europe at the time doing some play and I got my, my agents at the time, they called me and they said, there's like some, some top secret project called um, Wham. And I was like, yeah, well maybe it's like a you know, George Michael biopic or something like that. I'm like, oh, project yeah, Careless well, Do I really yeah, need, need to do that? <laughs> like, do I really want that? But I love George Michael, his music. So. Uh, uh, and the guy, the name of the guy was Timur. So it was kind of a Russian thing, but it was like, okay. I, and I just got, got like a few sides in which there was that four or five moments monologue said by Timur. And he was not saying Wade, he was saying George. So I, was, I did like, you know, I self-taped myself, send that back. And I was like, whatever, what's going to happen? I don't know. So then I got the call back and they said, can you change the names and can you say Wade? And it was like officially 20th Century Fox. So I was like, okay, something is going on and I know they're filming Deadpool. So, and I have to be like a Russian saying Wade. And I was like, my God, it's Colossus. So I did 140 takes and I had to choose like just four. So I like send that to, you know, my, my, my girlfriend at the time and like to my friends and you know, like we just tried to figure out and make four. So, so my girlfriend, now my wife, she helped me. So we just sent four. And then I just got a call. You need to fly in to Los Angeles. That was like a third callback. So I went you know, to LA, came to 20th Century Fox, met with you know, Tim Miller and all the producers and everybody else. And I was like geeking out and I was crazy. But you know, you had just have those few hours to do that thing. I did it. They gave my best. They said like, thank you. you know, don't call us, we'll call you. I went back to Europe. And then in seven days, it was like three in the morning, and I was, you know, a little bit buzzed with some friends, you know, it's summer. So my manager was calling me from, from LA, and I didn't want to answer because I was buzzed. And I just sent a message, like, I'm sleeping. <laughs> Mistake, you know? And then he's like, well, you're not sleeping now, obviously. So I called him, and I was like, you know, buzz guy trying to, you know, act like a drunk guy, you know, like a sleepy guy. So he's like, oh, uh, hello. And he's like, stop pretending, man, you got the role, you're Colossus. I can't explain still how that felt, man. It, it was, it's amazing. I just want to like to have my name in a movie that starts with those Marvel letters and, you know, thing. It's, come on, man. It's, it's, you know, for a lot of actors, they, they're not into comic books. And, you know, I remember when I was like five year old kid, I remember like buying DC and Marvel and I, got, you know, now I'm, I can be a part of that. So, you know, it's, it's, it's something that's not, a, it's like an Academy Award for my, like, for my inner child, for me. Like, that's, that's even, like, bigger in that way. I know that feeling. I know that feeling. It, some of my 
I know that feeling. Like I got to meet some of my favorite, uh, some of my favorite voice actors. One of them in particular, I got to meet a year ago, Steve Bloom, who played Wolverine, and uh -huh. like, he's still one of the best voices I've ever heard to play. Wol he's like the de facto voice of Wolverine for me. And uh, let me just go ahead and just go ahead, go out of my way and say your interpretation of Colossus and is one of the the closest that we have seen by far in like Deadpool is like the closest I've ever actually felt to actually reading an X-Men comic besides like X-Men first class and it just felt it just felt so genuine and actually I could tell it just came from a heartfelt place because I saw like Ryan Reynolds and TJ Miller and everybody who was involved with the cast just went out of their way just to try to make something that was as faithful and as fun and just just all around just an amazing just project to just create and I could tell it just, and it paid off in dividends. Well, thank you so much for that and, 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 and thank you guys for giving us the support and you know, without you guys, that one would never be filmed or you know, so Fox didn't want to do it. But one of the things that people I forget is that, that there's a big thing regarding the first part and Tim Miller, the director, who was the biggest geek I ever saw. When you come to his like post-production studio, when you enter that, it's like a three times this wall full of all comic books. That's his own collection. So. The point is, he wanted everything for the first part of Deadpool to be as, as much as comic accurate as it can be. So he didn't want like Colossus to speak with like, you know, any other accent that, you know, the Russian accent, you know, he just, it, well, he got me and I'm like, you know, every single actor, like the big actor would do that voice and get paid like, you know, crazy or whatever, but everybody would love to do that. He was like, no, I just don't want anybody to pretend. I just want like somebody like, you know, from, from those parts, you know, of the world. and. He gave me this chance, which, which is in a way like, you know, getting a lottery. For me, it is. It's, 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 I still, I, I'm telling you, I still cannot believe that I'm, I'm in that position. And on the other side, I was always on the other side going to Comic Cons, buying things. Now I'm, I can be on the both sides and I meet all these guys, you know, I'm like geeking out. Like, you know, when I met like Mark Hamill, and I'm like, wow, oh my guy, it's Luke Skywalker. And I'm like shaking. <laughs> I'm like, man, and they're like, come on, be behave, man. You're like, I'm like, come on. <laughs> Can you believe that? So, so for me, and everything I make on these comic cons, for example, I just spend it, I get give back. I'm just going buying comic books and artworks, and you know, it's, 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 it's a beautiful thing, you know, it's because... Me, yes. <laughs> and I'm proud of my addiction. <laughs> totally. If I was in your position, I'd do the same. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bet you didn't screw up Mark Hamill's name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, but, but the funny thing is on the other side, I was before this, before this crazy thing happened, I had like this, you know, it really, it worked in my case, if you really wish something, it really can happen. Really, really, and that's not a like, BS thing. Because before this, I was like, always like, oh my God, that was a long time ago, but I was like, I wanna be in a TV show called 24. And I, I was, I, I was killed by Jack Bauer. <laughs> yeah, he killed me with an ax. So I'm proud that I, you know, I died by his hand. And I was even like one of like the best kills of Jake Bauer, and he killed a lot of people. How much is now? Yeah, it's a season eight. It's the first episode. Oh. Yeah. You know, timestamp. Of course. You know those little numbers. To tick -tack, you know, I'm going with a gun. It was good. It was good. Uh, are you guys gonna blow up the X Men mansion again? Well, blowing up houses builds character. So. <laughs> You and Ryan Reynolds have great chemistry on the screen together. How much of, how much of the dialogue is riffing? How much of it, how, is it actually scripted? With Ryan Reynolds, <sighs> <laughs> we have a, you know, it's, it's kind of basic scenario, but the dialogues are <laughs> changing from minute to minute, you know? So in the end, like the editors have a lot of problem because, you know, they need to, <laughs> figure out what, what's funnier than what, you know, because Ryan is so quick and so witty, and the guy is really incredible, and I have a lot of questions, you know, how, how he's working with Ryan Reynolds, and really, I'm, I'm blessed in that way, because he's not just like a great partner, but he's like so into the movie, and like anytime, even like when I don't need anybody of the actors to be with me, when I'm like doing the CGI, like facial expressions, and then and, and the lines, he's always there, and he's always giving his lines, he's always like, you know, giving me ideas, Okay, now let's do this. Let's go, you know, this way. We had like we were like working for like an hour and a half, like just just on Colossus saying the F word. <laughs> because I had an issue with that. Why would 
Yes, I know Deadpool is dying, but Colossus is such a, you know, old school superhero. He doesn't curse and he would do this, but maybe, you know, then Ryan is like, okay, let's start with f f f f fudge. And I'm like, okay, that's too soft, you know, so it, we're like, you know, in the end we came with a F word. Yeah, so that's just one of the things. So I, I'm telling you, like, it's 50-50. It's Maybe even more. But, yeah. So you sound like a really avid collector of comic books and that kind of thing. What's, what's the pride and joy of your collection? The giant size X-Men from 1975, the first appearance of Colossus, Nightcrawler, and Storm. But it's mint condition. And it was signed by Dave Cockrum, the original artist who, well, who died like in 2006, I think. So that's one of the things that, you know, I'm just so proud that I have. And, and, and it's, it's, it's a beautiful, you know, not just copy, it's, it's a momentum, you know, especially because playing Colossus and having, you know, that thing. Unfortunately, I couldn't meet Lee, uh, Le, uh, Mr. Vane. Vane, Vane, I don't know how to pronounce, like you don't know how to pronounce my last name, so <laughs> you're even, people would understand. Len Vane, yeah. Vane, we, we, yeah. So. But the thing is, that's my, my, I'm proud of that, you know, that I have. Yeah. Uh, question with the fourth wall breaking. Was it really hard to deal with someone that's doing the fourth wall break while still being uh, set in the movie? It's not, because, you know, when you work with Ryan Reynolds, he's... he's you just know what he's, you know, how he is. So you have to expect all those things and just focus on yourself and your role. And you know, Klaus is not breaking the fourth wall, so I'm inside. Whatever he does, you just you're, you just don't see it in a way, you know. And thank God that I'm like an actor for a long time now, so I can focus. And you know, I had my 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 bursts and like you know couldn't do the thing because I was laughing so hard. And, you know, and on the other side, you can torture people, for example, there's like, and people asking me what, what's funny in the, you know, the, the things that didn't came into the movie or like a lot of things are in the movie, which were funny, like maybe like 95% because you just keep it like, you know, rolling and just get it into the movie. But the funny thing is, was in the first part, the director, Tim Miller, couldn't like stand people puking. You know, there are people that emphasize, like they, they if you puke, you know, they puke too. So, and in the first part, Colossus was doing like, especially in the end when he kills Ajax, if you remember, he goes like, why? So whenever I wanted like to experiment with something, you know, without director being there, you know, I was just start like puking and he, get, he needs to go out because he's gonna like do it, directly puke. So that was a funny thing. But you know, that's the Deadpool thing, you know, I just finished uh, the TV show Better Call Saul, which I'm a huge fan of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, but then, you know, that's, even like that's a dark com. well, how can I, like, it's Breaking Bad Universe. I don't know how to put the gen, like, in the genre, but you, can, you don't have that freedom like you have it in, in Deadpool franchise. You can do whatever you want, you know, like, really, like, let yourself go, and that's the beauty of, of, of Deadpool, and as a character, and as, of course, as a movie. Um, if you had the ability to turn yourself to metal, would you use it? Is that a question? <laughs> of course. You ask me something else? <laughs> but that was a good question, though. I would, of course. Because I, I think that, in a way, Colossus is the original Man of Steel. In a way. Superman is not made of steel. Come on. Uh, what? Could I get you to say the Lannisters send their regards in the Colossus voice? To, to what? Could I get you to say the Lannisters send their regards in the Colossus voice? The Lannisters <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you have to say action. Dear Lannisters, greetings from Colossus. And I really don't know what to tell you because I'm from the different universe, but I greet you. I don't like you, but I greet you. <laughs> You're bad boys. I tried to improvise. 
I never did this, so yeah. Why do you think Lannisters would be interested in Colossus talking to them and greet them? Are you sending that to some Lannisters? Oh, fun. Okay. <laughs> Hey, sir, I just wanted to say when I was uh, roller skating as a kid, my favorite arcade game was with, with Colossus. Yeah, with was, Aurora. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even over Mortal I Kombat. Did, I did that thing. In, well, when you watch the, the movie, you know, when Colossus, you know, turns to, to Juggernaut, we tried to kind of do that in, 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 a, in a way that, that kind of roar from, from the game, from the arcade game. But that's like an ontology we thing. Need a, we need a big guy, man. We always pick you. <laughs> what? We, we need a big guy in the game, so we always pick you. Of course. I'm picking myself in the Marvel Contest of Champions. <laughs> what about Marvel vs. Capcom 2? What? What about Marvel vs. Capcom 2? It's good. <laughs> I, love, I love those games. I love Street Fighter, but yeah. I'm kind of older than a lot of you guys, so yeah. I played like the Commodore 64, you know, when you put like those tapes and... You know, Green Beret, and, 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 and. It, was, it was fun. It was really fun. Some of you guys, yeah, remember that, and some of you just don't even know, like, games were, like, on tapes. Which still kind of, you know, makes me question myself. Did I really do that? Put, like, a tape and then play the game? And Okay, yeah. Forget about it. Just... Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so, as we all know, there are many great fictional giant Russians... Another of the great ones being Ivan Drago from Rocky IV. Oh, yes. So, if you will, can you please just say, I must break you. I will. I must break you. <laughs> but you know what? Yeah, well, now that you just said that, like, people are sometimes asking me what's my favorite line, and Colossus is like, almost like every single line is like, you know, Unbelievable in so many ways. Even like if it's like a banal, and you know, I love breakfast is the most important meal of the day. <laughs> and people are like, okay, like yeah, but that's Colossus, and and I, I love that. But then again, one of my biggest dreams is to have that I that I could have a chance to to say, pick on someone your own size. Mm -hmm. Come on, guys, is that like a, like a cavalry kind of thing, you know? <laughs> Or it's time to fight dirty. <laughs> and they fight dirty, yeah. In so many ways. <laughs> Talking about cable. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, in the movies, uh, Colossus it tries to be a fatherly figure to Deadpool quite often. But uh, do you think you could tell me your best dad joke in, Colossus jo in the Colossus voice? The best dad joke. Like, usually a bad pun. The dead Joe. Ah, uh, uh, that I already said, or like, I kind of don't get it. Yes. Like, I'm just slow because I'm tired, so I apologize. <laughs> usually, the joke is that dads have bad jokes, and they're usually really bad puns. Okay. Help me. Usually, it's like, Dad, I'm tired, oh. and then he says, Hello, tired. I'm Dad. Like. I think that's a perfect one. Okay. <laughs> So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna like we're gonna like get this go, like I'm gonna get I could say yeah, yeah, Dad yeah. I'm tired. Yeah, I, I, Is it okay if I get in on this too? Yeah. I'll say Dad I'm tired okay. and you say Hello tired I'm Dad. <laughs> All right. <laughs> dad I'm tired. Hello tired I'm dead. <laughs> that was just for you. Oh, yeah. It's a short movie. <laughs> <laughs> a haiku movie, yeah? It's true that so many actors and actresses that play in sci-fi don't actually like sci-fi. Do you have any really great moments of times when you've met another actor and been like, hey, we're geeks. <laughs> this is good. I, I, can't, like, I think that's not because of my, my English is not my first language, but I think mm -hmm. something... In the resume, I cannot understand the, the audience. Whole thing. You not face properly, can't get into your ear properly. It's probably the audio. Yeah, just because I'm losing some parts of the question, right. so I apologize. It's okay. Do I have to say it again? So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just the last part. Okay. Yeah, I know about sci-fi thing, and I think that's totally true. Yeah. So, 
Oh. I know lots of actors that are like superheroes and they don't really care about that and they just never were into comic things. It's just a role for them. Mm -hmm. So that's the first part of the question. Yes. So um, do you have any favorite moments where you met another actor and was like, yes, we're both geeks. We both like Absolutely. this kind of stuff. And, and first of all, that's uh, Ed Scrane that played Ajax. He's a maniac, like total, total maniac for comic books. Ryan is a big one, not as big as Ed or, you know, it's, it's, well, I, well, a lot of them are. Tim Miller, as I said, as I said but, but Ed Screen is number one with that. Like, he knows every single thing, and we, would, we just, I went to uh, London MCM Comic Con, and I saw him disguised, because I know, you know, that he was there, so he was like, that, he was disguised buying comic books and things, and, you know, he's, he's so into that, that's unbelievable. And we are geeks, and we are proud of that. Oh, hello. How are you? Welcome. I'm good. I'm welcome. You just welcome see hanging panel. around, having drinks, and we're waiting. You're late, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. No, I'm just... What, what did you do? Okay. Huh? You met Jake the dog? Uh, Joe DiMaggio. I feel like Jack the dog, so I'd like... <laughs> I missed that one. We got another question over here, right? Imagining that uh, we don't know X Force is coming in the future, does Colossus survive Thanos' snap? I, well, I said yes, or yes, like a few months ago. I answered that yes, he survives. But I think he survived in a way, but uh, you know, it's a question of destiny. <laughs> I would like to the Colossus had a chance just to go against Thanos. Just to go. Well, I think the guy who snaps. <laughs> oh, wait, I'll go. No, it's still like, ah, he's a titan. I don't know. Oh, I'm cheering for Colossus. Are you actually from Russia or some other uh, eastern country? I'm, I'm from, yes. I am, no, I'm not originally from Russia. I'm from a little country called Montenegro. And that's ex-Yugoslavia, which is Central Europe. It's Croatia, Serbia, Bosnia, and so on, and we are Slavic. And our language is really, really close with Russian. But then again, I was born in Germany, and I live in the States. So generally, I really don't even know. <laughs> no, yeah, you were just... But, you know, my language, and I'm, I'm supposed to talk like this. My, my dad talked like this, and, you know, they, but we have this hard kind of a accent, which is really, maybe Russians sometimes, they go more guttural, but you know, if you would speak like this, you know, that would be maybe like not that nice to listen to. It goes like a little song or something. Anyway, I don't know why I'm saying this. I'm tired. I, I apologize. You guys are so awesome, so I feel like I'm home and it's, it's beautiful. No, I'm, I'm not, why did you do that? Are, are you feel it or you just, okay, I thought it was, it was yes. Of course, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. A fan. fan. <laughs> this, this, this Deadpool is staring at me in a really weird way. <laughs> no, really, you know, like, it's like, I don't see his face, but. I think he wants one of those moving. hugs where he grabs you from behind. Oh, we had that. <laughs> <laughs> we got a question over here. Okay. So what is your favorite part about playing Colossus and do you share any values that he has? Well, I would love, you know, I can say I'm like totally, in my soul, totally as Colossus, but you know, he's like the old school superhero. He's like a role model for a human. He's like an old, yeah, he's, 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 he's in, a, in a way like the Marvel's response to Superman Maybe more like a red sun kind of thing, but yeah, still Superman. I think that everybody should share the same values as Colossus because, you know, he's the guy who will always sacrifice for the team. He's, he's the guy who, you know, is the perfect man in so many ways. And the whole thing regarding like playing that kind of, I'm, I'm from, as I said, from Eastern Central Europe. So for me, there are like not too many, you know, uh, characters that I could ever play in the Marvel Universe. And having the chance to portray such a specific and 
perfect iconic X-Men, if I may say. Such a pure superhero is, 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 is unbelievable. It, it's beautiful. Because the alternative that I could play in my life on the other side, and I kind of even wish to do that, is Craven the Hunter. And I think that I kind of resent my little bit. Yeah, I just like, like to bulk, and they're doing the movie right now. Well, developing the movie. But to go back to that, like, you know, having a chance to play somebody like that, that amazing. And, and there were some talks about like me, you know, being, I'm supposed to be like in a human form Colossus before he transforms. And there are like some talks, which I like knocking in the wood. And, uh, and, and plus we have like Ileana uh, Magic. And we're gonna see her in the New Mutants coming out next year. My my sister, Colossus' sister, of course. So I don't know. Maybe you know, we're gonna have like even like a little origin story. And you know, the whole thing about Colossus is so beautiful. And you know, I'm 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 so proud and honored that I have a chance to to to, to you know be this character. Are you okay with the answer? <laughs> Just checking. Like with a selfie, you know. Are you okay with an you know selfie? You look good. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so you kind of answered my question, but uh, obviously you have the role of Colossus in uh, the future of Deadpool and uh, any kind of crossover that happens, but has there been any talks with um, like X-Men as uh, their own individual project to bring you in or to bring Colossus in to the X-Men world? Hmm. I, I'm thinking, should I kill the NDA? Yeah. Now, there, there are some, like, really exciting things that are developing right now. You can do research. You know, I'm talking, I don't know. You know like, uh, like, but there are, like, some, some, some interesting things. It's on yeah, the I dark just, web. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know we've touched on the, the, you know, Marvel bringing everything together, but... Taking into account actor as well as character, who would you like to play, you know, screen with who you haven't on the other side of the Marvel spectrum? It's, well, it would be stupid, I say, with everyone, so I have to choose. Hmm. I think I would like to see. You, you mean by, like, characters or actors? Well, taking into account both. Hmm. I would just like to see, for example, how would Thor, Colossus, and Captain America, you know, like the proper guys in so many ways, you know, their discussion, you know, and like, I would love to see Deadpool coming into that. I don't, you know, I don't think that, you know, there's, <laughs> with asking them questions or like doing like those crazy things and I would like the friendly fight between Colossus and Hulk. You know, I, I, there's like so many things that I want to see and I want to, I want to, I want to feel. I want, you know, it's, it's, it's my childhood. It's, it's something that they took from us and they're giving it back, which I'm really happy. Even like that Fox was awesome in so many ways and, and they made Deadpool and, and, and Logan. But then again, you know, I just want to see, you know, them all together like DC did, but unfortunately for them. But I don't have any. I'm, I, I love DC. Comic books. <laughs> don't get me wrong. But I've seen the movies. Sorry, sorry. Somebody want to yeah, go against me? Like, uh, argue me? <laughs> I'm ready for that. Not that hard. Hey, I don't know if the uh, the Viking cast. Hopefully, we could get this to them. But um, you would make a you would make a perfect Viking for the new television. They 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 casted you, man. You would really push the ratings up. I, I believe in you. <laughs> the Viking? Uh, the uh, the Vikings, the uh, television show. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You'd be perfect, man. You'd be perfect for that show. Man, I, I would love. Well, uh, I would love to be doing some. There is something coming on Netflix next year. Is going to be a start. Like it's going to start filming, and it's something. It's not Vikings, but it's something on a path of Game of Thrones, I just cannot say, but it's gonna be insane. And I think I'm gonna be in that. Because I feel really bad that I never had like a chance to, to, to go for like Game of Thrones because I'm a huge fan of the show. I, I did, as a matter of fact, but like, that was like the, for the first season and I went for the role of Khal Drago and come on. 
<laughs> Jason Momoa, and no, like, come on, that's the only one. So, yeah, yeah, but thank you, thank you, I would love that. I, I love like beards and blood and swords and. You wouldn't have said that DC joke if Jason Momoa was in here somewhere, would you? <laughs> Okay, I said he's perfect Carl Drago. I'm not talking about Aquaman. <laughs> And, 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 and honestly, because just because I don't like, you know, because for me, Aquaman was like the blonde guy. It, well, you know, how he looked when I was, well, original, you know, like, this is like Khal Drogo that swims, and you know, <laughs> his, it, yeah, he looks awesome. <laughs> but, uh, absolutely. I love Ben Affleck, like, as a, as a but, come on, it's Batman. <laughs> it's Batman. In a Lego suit, like. <laughs> <laughs> Superman, come on! It is Christopher Reeve. This guy is an amazing actor, but you know, this Superman is beautiful when you see him. But when he starts acting, and. Uh, I just don't see that in a Superman. You know, there is. Come on, you guys saw it. Come on, I'm not the only one that saw that. It's just something with, with, with I don't know. And those mustaches, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you play a DC character, who would it be? Lobo. Lobo. Yeah. Lobo, or even like just give a voice to, I don't know, Demon Etrigan or Hitman. Yeah. Come on! This is beautiful universe. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Got another one over here. But I think that Shazam is going to be awesome. Yeah. Shazam. I, I really think it's going to be awesome. So, if you could team up with one X Men character, who would it be? With X Men? <laughs> Fastball special with Wolverine. <laughs> Come on. We never saw that uh, generally, which I'm praying we're going to see. Wolverine and the Colossus. Come on. <laughs> and I know in the parallel universe what happened, so, yeah. Some of you know. Okay. <laughs> so to tag on to that last question with Wolverine and whatnot, say something happens and y'all get in a fight over Thanksgiving dinner. Can uh, Wolverine's claws pierce your metal skin? Yeah. What? 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 what is I think. Like, would Wolverine be able to like get through your yes. skin? Yes. Okay. Yes. It's that adamantium, so. Of course. Okay. <laughs> Colossus would sacrifice. <laughs> he would make claws for me. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, but yes, yeah. But that will not happen because, you know, you know like X Men and Brothers and Mutant and Proud and. You no. Know, Doctor Strange has a question. So, just going with the whole Wolverine thing, I know, like, like Hugh Jackman said he's done. Who would be your Wolverine after him? Because he's all of our Wolverine, but. The guy that I thought that I would love to see as Wolverine, he's, well, he's now playing Venom, Tom Hardy. I think he would be perfect in so many ways, but I think that he's gonna be perfect as Eddie Brock, so it's, I like the trailer, but I heard it's, it, they're still deciding is Venom gonna be PG-13 or R-rated, so I think that Venom needs to be R-rated. Yeah, because like Deadpool, if, if it was you know PG thirteen, nobody would watch that. Like you know Deadpool without. So that's the same thing I think. But so Tom Hardy was like a first choice for me. But uh, I don't know. There's like so many. What do you think? Who would you like to see? As, as a... I, I think Hugh Jackman still got it. I think deep I, down no, he's no, it, like, oh, I'm done. Because he but... said that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, There's Waldo. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> No, I just spotted. No, no, go, go continue. I apologize. No, no, it's okay. I, I, just, I just spotted. Yeah. Waldo would be a great yeah. new Wolverine. Yeah, I just spotted. So continue. I just, I, I don't know who's like who's not already taken out there already to be a good replacement for Wolverine. Do you have anybody any idea? Yeah, yeah. Be anybody? Do, maybe right. somebody can get Andrew Lincoln. <laughs> Who? 
I heard no. <laughs> Audible nose. No. <laughs> a bald over. <laughs> but 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 like, let's stop for a second. I think maybe that even that would be. I think the hair can be done. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. He's, yeah, yeah. That's an interesting thing. And he's small. He's short. Could yeah, but Ryan I, well, Reynolds yeah. With like a taped-on mask or something. Like. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, I don't know. We'll see because yeah, Wolverine is Wolverine. Come on. I think we got a time for a couple. No, more I want to stay here forever, here. Yeah. and I'm no, not joking. Can, I really, I love this. So yeah, no, can. really, you guys are awesome. Yeah, you know, really, 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 really. And I'm not like saying this. Is we still got I'm more saying. questions. Let's get. So, I feel yeah. so comfortable. We got to throw up those hands so I can start yeah. pointing out to people. And I think yeah. that she's angry a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> Be oh, because you're in Wonder Woman. Sure. <laughs> I said I love DC. I even liked Wonder Woman. Yeah, I love Gal, Gal Gad Gadot. So, sorry? Yeah. I'm, I'm not a like, great fan of, of Netflix Marvel shows. I love Punisher because that's one of my favorite characters of all time, and I like that show. I don't know about Iron Fist. I don't know. People like that? No, yeah. yeah. I don't see, like, yeah. Okay. That was a, yeah. yeah. I was going to ask. Cage is, uh, look, Cage. Cage looks amazing. I love the first season. I haven't seen the second season. The Devil is good. A Luke Cage Colossus fight. Luke Cage, would be yeah, nice. but you know the thing for the first season of Luke Cage, I loved it until, you know, uh, Marshal Ali died. And I don't know why they did put like that other guy. Diamond, I, I don't think that, 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 that was needed for the first. That, that's the thing, yeah. I, just, I was just like, why I have to see, watch this? Why didn't I stop? Yeah. Yeah. Who? Mm -hmm. Did you have a question? Uh, he had one now. Oh, we got one there and one here. Okay, so let's go here and then we'll come back to you. Oh, okay. So do you think being in a movie like Deadpool that's rated R and so funny, that allows you to, I mean, you can have really bold opinions and get away with it because you get away with Deadpool. Is that like really freeing as an actor? Is that like really freeing? Like, it, you know, a lot of actors have to like play nice when they're talking about like the DC movies, but you're in Deadpool. You can get away with saying well, whatever you want. Well, the movie was making, yeah. yeah. The, well, for me, when people are asking what's the, your favorite scene from Deadpool, it's, you know, when, when, when Cable and Deadpool clash and he's asking him, who are you? And he's like, I'm Batman. Come on. Like, and that's a Marvel movie. Come on. I, I didn't know that's going to be, because we all, all, all of us, we just have like the part of the scripts where we are, so we don't know what's going to happen. I was laughing like crazy because it's just like a sentence, but it's Deadpool, it's Marvel, and he said like, I'm, I'm Batman. Come on. Are you kidding? me <laughs> or the first time when you saw it, like because it was in the trailer so nobody you know everybody nobody was surprised with like are, are you you're so dark are you from DC universe you know so it, it was like a brilliant thing that only Deadpool as, as you said can do and of course me as playing Colossus I, I was supposed like no, you know not to swear not to say not to smoke you know like but but then again I'm in a Deadpool movie so in the end I, I put okay you know Spoiler alert, but you know how I defeated Juggernaut in the end. So yeah, what, yeah. So that happened in Deadpool universe. So and it's freeing, of course. It's it's beautiful. So you implied you had uh, stuff coming out on Netflix. Uh, what other projects do you have that are coming out in the future? Uh, right now, I have like Better Call Saul. Uh, after that, I have a, a really cool, but yeah show that's coming on Netflix this fall. And those are some things I just, you know, the things that you can see right now is Better Call Saul and, 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 and well, I can say which show, but yeah. It's, it's just, you know, when it comes in, of course, X-Force, which people know that it's coming. So those are the things that I can kind of say and confirm because I don't want to lose the other ones, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and trust me, you can. Like, it's, it's, we're living in a weird time. And there was one more question, I think, from Twitch. Oh, I was just going to ask what your hashtag is. <laughs> What's my your hashtag? <laughs> my hashtag? Uh, yeah. Twitter or which one? 
Yes, for Twitter. Those, those generally, like, I, I just call it put the Colossus. I, I, I can't because of, you know, I just, they don't let me. <laughs> I, mean, I would put a lot of things. We've got like 20 seconds here. So I just, uh, I think we better actually, actually, down, now we're done, so. Um, yeah, well, well, guys, thank you so much. I Let's really, give really, a round really of applause, really please. It was really awesome. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Thank you so much, everybody. The con is closing in just about 15 minutes, so thank you for being here today. Hope to see you again tomorrow.